Chickens being cooked right away and collected in the chest. I love it. <laughs> Welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, as you can tell, my voice is most of the way back to normal and I'm not feeling as bad as I was. During that time, I did get a bunch more uh, mining done. And I think I finally come up with enough uh, gold to bring the uh, Hall of Patrons up to date. And of course, I built this little gizmo based on one of uh, Izuma's tutorials. Actually, it's pretty much exactly what he built. I just added an extra chest on the front of it for more capacity. And yeah, I do love to watch chickens getting what's coming to them. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, let's see, I finally have a whole six blocks of gold. Let's get some of this iron and a couple of stacks of redstone block. Don't expect I'm going to need any obsidian or any of this other. At least not right now. All right. So, my next stop is going to be out at the Hall of Patrons. Get that thing up to date. And then I'm going to start looking for a spot to do what I think is probably, for me, a rather ambitious kind of build. Because it's going to, by necessity, involve using a lot of redstone logic and whatnot. And I have no idea how good that's going to turn out or how badly I'm going to muff it up. We'll find out. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, first up, let's get the uh, gold blocks in place. And here. And here. Hey, I actually have one to spare. That's great. Okay, now... I have another update to do. I need to add another name on here. Yeah. Oh. Linda A. Welcome to the Patrons Hall. And of course, all patrons can send me a link to a banner design, which I will be happy to uh, place in here on your pillar, recognizing you, and so on. And uh, over time, I expect that this place is going to look better and who knows maybe even bigger I don't know we'll see uh, let's see let's get some stone some glass definitely some wood all right I am now off to start seeking out a place to build this other new project. All right. Now, we take a quick portal trip. And shortcut through here. Head over to the Orange District. Entertainment, gaming, and gambling. Okay. That's where this needs to be built. Assuming, of course, I can actually successfully figure out how to build this without making a complete me and absolute total utter mess of it. All right. Of 
course, another question is, how much space is this going to require? I honestly don't know. Well, here we are, Orange District. I'm going to stake out a spot not too awfully far from the portal here, I guess. Or I can do some development work and figure out exactly what needs to be done here. Let's see. Well, how about right along in here? Get out some stone. How wide did I make that? All right. And I may more than likely need to update this thing. I can already see it's probably going to have to go further that way. But this will be a reasonably semi-secure place to work. here. Get me a couple of trap doors. All right. I brought along a bed. should do a little bit more light all right and some storage yeah now what I want to try to do here is I've talked about it before already. I want to try to build a game. I have never even attempted something like this before. And one of the things that I need to do is to figure out a way to shuffle cards. Because the game will be a card game, of course. All right, let's see. Go like this. That's a bunch of droppers. And I'll have to... Oh, well, that's nice and convenient. I head over here to the triple spawner, and I should be able to pick up some bows for use in making dispensers. Shouldn't need a whole lot of dispensers. Wait a minute, isn't there uh yeah, there's a spider spawner in there. There should be a bunch of string down there. This place, by the way, looks amazing. <laughs> this is some awesome building. I like the floor design. What is that? The uh, furnaces, okay. Furnaces, stairs, coal blocks, yeah. I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna go end up, end up going into touring mode. And that's not what I need to be doing right now. Alright, some string. Alright, actually, I could just go ahead and repair that. Okay, it's not repaired enough. assume that I will need more dispensers, though, so I just grab the string. All right. And the only good spider is a dead one. 
All right. That'll take care of that for now. Because I'm trying to figure how it is I can randomize the order in which cards are delivered. That would help if I remembered what direction I'm going here. Yeah. Basically, a deck of cards needs to be shuffled. And uh, that is, for me, no small order. But I'm thinking, let's see. Shouldn't really need more than one dispenser. At least for now. All right. I'm not even sure how to do this right. All right. That'll do for now. All right. Uh, basically cards will have to go into the dispensers, the droppers, and then uh, from the dispenser, from the droppers, they'll throw it into a dispenser, and the dispenser will be triggered, rigged that so that uh, like have a comparator off of it and uh, have it set up so that when something gets put in there it gets thrown out now as we know when stuff is thrown out of a dispenser it doesn't just fly straight ahead for a specific distance it flies at a random distance in a kind of a random direction off to one side or the other let's get some daylight Yeah, and uh, so what we have is stuff will get shot out of there. Well, let's just try it and see. Throw some cobble in there. Get myself... Actually, just a push button will do it, I think, for firing it. Okay, it goes uh, out some random direction. occurs to me it'd be easier to see from this way well it would be if it didn't automatically have me picking the thing up every time maybe this will do it See, they each go a random distance and a random direction to one side or the other. So, the idea here is to arrange for dispenser to throw the items out and the items, the cards, are actually going to be like renamed pieces of paper. Throw them out. They'll go a random direction and distance and land on a, an area covered with hoppers. The hoppers will pick them up and send them back into a delivery system that will put them into the bottom unit down there. 
and send them back up to be circulated again. Somewhere in there, there have to be a system to extract the papers, one at a time, for delivery to be dealt to deal the cards. But this should work, if I've got it right, as a good, random, constant shuffling system. Once it's turned on, it will begin shuffling, and it'll keep doing that, until you turn it off when you don't need it to be doing that anymore. Not exactly sure I'm going to be able to make this work, but I think it's a good idea. I think it should work. And I know that it's going to be a pain. And no, it's not going to be built above ground. The, the mechanism, when it's actually figured out and f tested and then the design is finalized, I'll be building it underground somewhere. Well, probably right in this area. Once I get a better idea from others as to exactly where on here is a good place to build. I'm not sure, because there isn't exactly like signs up here saying somebody in so-and-so has claimed this area for this project or whatever. I don't know. I'll have to check and find out about that. But I think... I've got an idea here for a shuffling mechanism that might work. How about that? Me, messing around with redstone. What possible danger could there be? I can't get electrocuted doing this, can I? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get doing some more of this and doing some testing on this. And, yeah... We'll see if we can make this work. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.